Hello friends, welcome to part 2 of HP CISS Ink Tank Conversion Series. Now let's start from where we left last time. So as you can see, the entire printer is opened up and I'm going to fix the clips that is going to hold the rubber tubes above the cartridge. So this is the clip that I'm going to place in here. So it has this double sided tape. I'm going to remove uh, the paper from the other side of the tape. There you can see I've, re I've removed it. After that I'm going to gently place it on top of the carriage and make sure that it's tight and it has stuck properly now you can see I'm checking how the rubber tube goes into the cartridge and I'm trying to find out where the rubber tube clips are going to be fitted on the top cover so I have only one clip left and I am going to use it on the top so you can see this is the position sensing ribbon and I don't want the rubber tube to touch the rod where the carriage rides and the position sensing ribbon so I'm taking the measurements to make the holes for the rubber tube to go in so here I'm going to use the same hand drill that came with the kit and I'm going to use that to make the holes so after marking the position, I'm going to do the holes. So let me move the carriage on the other side. So I'm using my nipper to um, cut the strips on the side from where the rubber tubes are going to get in. So you can see I'm done in here. Now I'm going to smooth it out with the sandpaper and then I'm going to drill the holes from the outside. I'm going to use the screwdriver type drill that came with the kit. Gently twisting it to make the holes. there you can see I have made the hole now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the hole into all the holes are going to combine together to make a big slot and I'm going to use sandpaper or a knife to make it smooth So you can see it's almost widened enough. Now I'm going to trim the edges. So after cutting it with a knife and then using a little bit of sandpaper, it's ready. Now I'm trying the tube. So the tip of the tubes are a little bit wide because it had the elbow fitted into it. I had opened it before that's why it took me a little bit time to put it in but once it goes in you can see the tube fits uh, loosely so 
so now you can see I'm going to cut this ridges this plastic plates that are sticking out because during the movement of the carriage uh, the clip that I have uh, fitted on top of the carriage it has very low clearance with this plastic ridge on the cover so I am going to cut all of them so uh, removing these ridges does not uh, does not seem to do any effect on the outside of the cover so as you can see for testing purposes I have fitted the rubber tubes with cello tape and I am moving the carriage back and forth you can see the tapes on the top and as I am moving the carriage just for testing I have fitted the old cartridges and I have fitted the rubber tube for testing it it's not actually fitted with the uh, cartridges itself for now so you can see where the rubber tube loops on the downside it gets very close to the rod where the carriage is riding and right next to it is uh, the position sensing ribbon that ribbon it goes through the carriage there's a sensor on the carriage that touches the ribbon and senses the position so I don't want the rubber tube to get touched so you can see uh, I have used sellotape for now I have to put some uh, clips now one clip I've already used and this is the other one and it's uh, in L shape I have to straighten it out I'm going to place it on the cover underneath the cover actually in place of the cello tape so after standing it uh, you can see uh, I have to put it right in here instead of the cello tape it's a very hard uh, steel and I had to use a lot of force to straighten it so on the other side I'm going to use uh, cello tape I might make a clip uh, for there uh, for that place also but uh, cello tape does the job for now and in here I have temporarily fitted it with the cello tape I have to make a clamp for here also so you can see the position sensing ribbon and the uh, rod or the carriage rides these are the two main concerns that I'm thinking for now because I don't want the ink tubes to touch uh, those sensitive parts and if the ribbon actually breaks then the printer will stop working so you can see these are the two plates that I'm going to use to make the clips but actually after some time I ditched uh, this plan I did not use those clips because the clip that I thought of using right here it has a very sharp edges and it might cut the tube and the aluminium plate you can see I have banded it the same way as the clip on the other side and I also ran into a problem with this clip as well you'll see in little moment So you can see here after putting the cover on I have placed the clip that I have made on the right side you can see I have placed it with cello tape just to test the clearance and there is a very little clearance in here you can see it's touching because the carriage moves up and down a little bit and if the carriage gets stuck in here then the entire work will be at loss. so right there I need to remove the clip or I need to uh, change my plan 
so I'm going to change the clip as it touches here I'm not going to use the clip that I made instead I'm thinking of some other way probably I'm going to use a hot glue gun because hot glue is the last resort of any solution or any problem so there is the clip I have opened that now another problem that I have faced is the clip that I have placed on the top of the carriage actually it's not aligned with the clip that I have put underneath the cover which you can see on the top the larger one so in order for the tube to loop around perfectly it needs to be perfectly or precisely right below both the clips should be in the same line because if the tubes are on left and right little bit more left little bit more right then it might touch the position sensing ribbon and the rod where the carriage rides and over time it might the tube might damage itself or the ribbon might get damaged so I've moved uh, the clamp actually uh, I have no uh, double sided tape extra double sided tape so I have to move the clamp a little bit lower so I'm going to uh, put or pull the rubber tube a little bit on the lower side so you can see here the ribbon and where it gets uh, sensed you can see there is a sensor that senses the ribbon and the ribbon actually goes through the sensor and tells the computer where the carriage is you can see this is the ribbon it has small dots in it that I think this uh, this is uh, magnetically it works magnetically and tells the sensor anyway I don't know how it works but I don't want the rubber tube to touch this ribbon so you can see the clip is a little bit on the higher side so I have pulled the rubber tube a little bit down and on the right side I'm going to use probably hot glue to keep it in the position and stay aligned with the top clip if I had a double sided tape then I would probably pull the clip out and replace it a little bit uh, on the lower position so you can see if I uh, glue the tube on the right side a little bit on the lower side it might work so in the next video I'm going to tell you or show you how I, I did that so that's it for today guys I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and share thanks a lot for watching